everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how a guardian can complete the re-enrolment in their parent portal account. Once they receive the notification or the email for the re-enrolment, they will log into their parent portal account either via web or via the app. They will see on their homepage the re-enrolment widget that they click on to complete or they can click on the enrolment menu, click on re-enrolment and then click accept. If the guardian wishes to decline the re-enrolment, they can simply click decline, select a reason from the drop down box. They may want to enter in more information if they wish and they can exit their child exit date if they know the date that the child is leaving your service. Then they can click submit. To accept the re-enrolment, they can simply click accept. They're going to see their booking pattern that was submitted in the re-enrolment. Now this booking pattern is the current booking pattern that you would have set based on the communication for the send out of the re-enrolment. And if you do not have that setting turned on to allow guardians to update and change their booking pattern, you will notice that it is greyed out and they are unable to edit it. If you have room programs linked to these booking patterns, the guardian can update and change the room program if they wish. Once they have confirmed these details, they can click next and then answer the questions below. So if they have updated their contact details, they can simply click yes and move to the next question. And if they click no for any of these questions, they can then click on the update details, which will then direct them to that applicable page where they can delete, update, edit, etc. Once they're completed with that page, they can simply click return to re-enrolment. This will then update that question to yes, to now say that they have updated that field and they can then continue to move down those questions. Again, if they click no for any of these questions and they click update details, it will take them to that applicable page. In order to complete the re-enrolment, the guardian must answer yes to all of those applicable questions. Then they can tick that they have acknowledged the T's and C's and then click submit. Over on Kidsoft, you will receive a notification showing that the guardian has accepted and completed that re-enrolment for that child and then you can go straight to that re-enrolment menu and then you are ready to import in that action column. Again you can still have the ability to update any days if the guardian wishes. You can change the booking type if required, or room, and click import. For any records declined by the guardian, you will see in the declined guardian reason, the information why and the exit date, if they have entered one, for you be able to go and complete the, in, the exit child uh, process using the exit child feature in Kidsoft. If you have any further questions in regards to how a guardian can complete the re-enrolment, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.